markets, trading, traded volumes were lifted by a big ticket deal in shares of Dangote Cement. Standing by at the NSC to review the trading day is Igboje Higo, Managing Director at Capital Bank Core. Thank you so much, Igboje, for joining us. Let's start with that transaction around Dangote Cement. We've seen some really high profile deals related to the company over the last few years. Of course, the latest has been that investment from the Middle East. But what, what really spiked the trading in Dangote Cement shares today? Well, today, if you look at the numbers, uh, about 2.3 billion naira worth of Dangote cement shares have been traded in about 160 deals. You know, that was just before I came on camera. Uh, 160 deals, that will give you a sense that it's widely spread. So uh, maybe people are beginning to position for the third quarter results that are expected to come out in a couple of days, you know, maybe sometime next week or so. So that could be what's driving it. But it's not one deal or two deals. It's a lot of deals, 160 deals so i suspect that people are just the sentiment is positive and mm. that's why people are buying yeah all right let's talk about oil stocks um we've seen the oil price fall back recently it's testing about 90 dollars per barrel these days so it's getting to the point where i think a lot of people will begin to get concerned given how skewed nigeria's economy is towards oil at least from the revenue side for government so your take on the impact of this slide in the oil price on oil stocks well intuitively uh you would expect that if oil prices are down consistently and you know for a, any length of time then it will affect the earnings of the oil the oil majors because clearly you are making a lot more money selling at a hundred dollars than you are selling at ninety dollars uh, but i suspect that as the winter months come uh, by and winter bites harder in europe and in america that perhaps those prices will go up uh, but it's not a cause for concern yet, but it's good to keep an eye on those stocks and see what's happening with the oil prices. All right. And of course, the stocks we're talking about here in Nigeria would be Seplat and Oando. We've Oando. seen Seplat fall back a little bit recently. But let's now move on to some transactions we're seeing in the banking sector. Of course, the latest around ETI is that NetBank is looking to in increase its investment in that stock. Can you just give us your take on ETI, given this latest news around the stock? Well, I think it's a good... Uh, it's good news. Uh, well, you recall that uh, ETI had some corporate governance issues. That is well and firmly behind them now. Uh, and we've had two or three major uh, international institutions, you know, take major stakes in ETI. Now it's NetBank, 20%. So basically, you are seeing ETI become a, a global bank. You know, it's literally before our very own eyes being transformed from a West African bank to a pan-African, truly pan-African bank. And I think uh, what that bank is doing is very good and it bodes well for the company and uh, I'm sure shareholders uh, have good times ahead to look forward to. Right. Typically we see high demand for banking stocks, especially this week. And we've seen investment in Zenit Bank and GT Bank. What's your take on the banking sector in the, in the fourth quarter? Do you think we're going to see a rally in that sector? Many people say that's perhaps where you will see the most value in this market right now. Well, you've got to be careful because some of those uh, stocks are already priced, I would say, at a very richly. So you have to be very careful. But basically what's driving it, we expect to see the third quarter results shortly. And, you know, but for most of them, we don't expect to see a vast improvement over last year. But then for most of the banks, if they are anywhere near where they were last year, that's still good. You know, so mm -hmm. you still see a lot of investors buying because then you know they can at least maintain their dividend payments and you know and they're dealing with all the issues in the environment so uh banking stocks yes uh they're looking good right now but i caution that you've got to buy at the right price because some of them are richly priced already right but do you think sentiment is going to change in this market in this quarter we've seen it really struggle it was down three percent last quarter what are your expectations for q4 well, it's tough. I, I will say more of the same, Wale, because we've seen the first nine months. Only two months have been positive. Seven out of nine months have been negative. The market year to date is down 0.4, 0 0.5%. So mm, I suspect that we'll see more of the same. Lackluster, you know, trading sideways most of the time with mm -hmm. a few spikes. So it, it's tough. It's tough. People have said until February next, until after the elections, mm. well, perhaps we shouldn't expect... Uh, much from the market and don't forget that most of the earnings that we are seeing too they're mixed a lot of them are much lower than they've been you know so you know tough times for the market right. but the market is holding steady but, but we're getting good news you know the ipos are coming fast and in between so at least there's some cherry news the bonds are out 
you know, so the market is not that dead. There's mm. a few good things to talk about. Well, I guess those must be the highlights of this year. We saw two significant IPOs this year. Exactly. But um, what about this oil price thing? We come back to that and the impact it could have for sentiment, especially for international investors that, you know, more or less uh, look at Nigeria as an oil producing nation. And so those flows that we see coming when, the, of course, the Naira is strong and the oil prices are high, Perhaps those flows will not come and the demand that they bring will impact um, the, the direction of the market going forward. No, clearly, like I said, f definitely they'll be keeping an eye on the ball. They'll be actively looking at the oil prices. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure they are, you know, they're going to jump ship right now. They will just look at it. But we need to see a trend manifest. Mm. Another couple of days, another couple of weeks. If this continues, if we see this trend continue for another month, then I suspect that as people may begin to put a hold on some of their investment decisions. Right. Aigbojie, let's leave it there. Enjoy your weekend. Aigbojie Igo is the Managing Director at Capital Bank Corp.